I'm not a parent, but I can imagine it's really difficult in the heat of the moment yeah. not to be really critical of kids. Yeah, absolutely. The heat of the moment, you know, the first thing you want to do is like kind of correct what's going yeah. wrong. And actually what the strength switch, the science behind the strength switch says, if you, as, if, as a parent, you can just have that little pause and instead of jumping on, don't do this, mm. ask yourself this question, what would I like to see instead? So instead of stop fighting, ask for, hey, how about we cooperate? Right. Yeah. And, and is that... A case of positive reinforcement? It, it is. It's a case of right. positive reinforcement, but it's a little bit deeper than that. And with the strength switch, what we're looking for is, as a parent, identifying what are the unique strengths in my children. So is it creativity? Is it bravery? Is it humour? Is it playfulness? Mm. Is, it, is it kindness? And in that moment, tapping into, you know, for example, if it's kindness, you know, how, how about you use your kindness to cooperate instead of fighting. So it's partly positive reinforcement, but it's partly a little bit deeper. It's going to the unique strengths. I think yeah. that's the critical point, but mm. it must be a little bit hard in identifying those at times because mm -hmm. you can say, well, you know, I, I know you're really good at cricket, yes. but I need you to do the dishes right now. <laughs> so how can you, you know, how, how do you actually get the, the, the unique strengths to yeah. relate to whatever chore Such you're Such a great question, Jack. And that, and, and that is the point of like, what is it about cricket? So maybe it's their sense of competitiveness, their sense of excellence, their sense of wanting to do mm. well, like tap into that and apply it to the dishes turn it into a competition, turn it into, you know, I know you do so well on the field, let's see, see what you can do you right. know, with the dishes. Because what is the impact of nagging on a kid? Does yes. it work? It doesn't work. <laughs> no. I mean, honestly, I'm a parent of two children yeah. and I can nag and nag and nag. It creates an argument. It doesn't ultimately change behaviour. And we all know that as parents because we have to keep nagging for mm. the same issue. I was going to say, that actually, this applies to more than just parents and children, doesn't yeah, it? This definitely. applies to many relationships. And yeah. that nagging doesn't usually get you anywhere. It just brings no. everyone down. I've been married for 26 years and I'm still <laughs> nagging my husband around the same issues. No, no. But, I mean, it, it, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't get you anywhere. And, mm. and the key that you identify uh, in your book is just picking out those unique things that yeah. separates your child or your partner from, yeah. from anyone else yeah. and trying to tap into those. Yeah, look in for the good tasks. in your kids yeah. and, 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 and platform off what is right about your children to create positive change and a happy family. How do kids react when you get it right? When you, oh, beautifully. It's amazing how they do because, yeah. you know, even when they know, I mean, my kids know I'm a qualified psychologist, they know I've written the book, but even when I do that and they have the knowledge and I'm calling forward something positive in them to create some good behaviour, they still do it. I mean, I still do it. Everyone does it. We all like for other people to see the best in us mm. and to encourage us to be our best. You, you touched on something before when you said parents just need to take a moment, yeah. take a moment in the moment. Yes. Am I, is it reasonable to say that's easier said than done when you're tired yeah. and you've been working all day and the kids are whipping each other with tea towels yeah. <laughs> and you go, you know what, it would just be so much easier to get angry right now? It would. It would be easier to get angry and it might change that behaviour in the short term, in that moment, but it doesn't change the behaviour in the long term. And certainly what I do in my book is coach parents around how do you practice this technique not in that moment? How do you right. practice the, this technique when things are going well and you've got energy and you're not tired? Because the more you practice, like anything, the more you practice, the better you get. So it ends up becoming automatic in that tense moment. But don't start at that point because you won't be successful. So this is the thing. You actually have to build up their confidence in those unique abilities yes. outside of the times when they might be misbehaving. Yes, exactly. That's the time where you really do the strength spotting and praise. And then you get used to bringing it forward into that moment of the problem How long behavior. does this take? How long is the process? Uh, not as long as you would think, to yeah. be honest, because it's really, this is, it comes back to our neuropsychology and it's about repatterning our brain. So as parents, whether we, doesn't matter how much we love our children, mm. our brains typically look for what's wrong and what do I need to fix? And so strength switch is just about repatterning and looking for what's right in my child and what can I build? And every time you do that, you're repatterning your brain to look mm. first for what is right. So then it becomes more automatic.